I caught my husband chatting with another woman. I'm in deep pain. My husband told me it's in Sharia to go for a second marriage. That's why he is talking with that lady. He's following you on Facebook. Kindly guide men that it's a sin to chat with non-mahram ladies. Your one small talk can save many hearts. First of all, it is quite unfortunate how the beautiful issue of polygamy, second, third, fourth wife, is been perceived today as an evil act. Due to many reasons that might be legitimate reasons, and this is unfortunate, when we are the ones who tarnish our religion by our actions, like this brother, the sister says he follows me on Facebook and he most likely learns from reading the questions and answers. Now, why would he cross the line and commit such a sin and justify such a sin as being part of the Sharia? A'udhu Billah. This is something that is audacious, something that is heinous. Akhi, you want to sin? This is your problem. This is between you and Allah. Do not justify your sin and lie and cheat and maybe claim that this is part of Islam. Then this is not an individual sin anymore. This is something that has gone out of proportion. Chit-chatting with a woman is definitely haram. Don't sugarcoat it. Don't say that Sharia allows me to take a second wife. Yes, Sharia does allow you to take a second wife, but it doesn't permit you to date women for that reason. Because then, if I were caught red-handed at a nightclub or having a date with a woman eating at a restaurant, and then, I've, oops, sorry, uh, I, was, I, I was thinking of marrying her. Is this justification allowed in Islam? If someone were to take your sister out and then justify this, would you accept it? Of course not. Then what is happening? Why is it halal for you, haram for people and for others and for your sister? Secondly, if you were to get married again, there are channels to do so. And Islam tells us what to do when we want to get married. So we contact the guardian, not the girl, and we get to see the girl once and sit with her for an hour or so in the presence of her guardian, speak to her, talk to her, look at her, she looks at me. We get to know each other and see if there's chemistry or not. And after this initial and only interview, we decide whether to proceed or to call it a day. And if we were to proceed, she's an unmahram. I don't speak to her. I don't see her. I don't mix with her. Until the marriage contract is conducted a month, a, a two, a week or two, whatever. So what the brother is saying is totally not permissible. But I'll ask the sister, do you think that he's going to listen to me now? Most of these people are cherry pickers. So they follow us on Facebook, on Twitter. They read the questions and answer and they learn. And they like what the, they read. But when it comes to them, they don't like this. And they don't accept it. And they would probably tell you the sheikh doesn't know. Thirdly, Akhi, if you want to get married, and I've been getting calls from all over the world, from sisters complaining and from brothers wondering what's the solution because their wives are asking for divorce. 
So I asked, what did you do? He said, nothing, Sheikh. I, I just wanted to share with her my desire to get married again. But I'm, I'm not getting married. It's just an idea that I had. And as I've been doing this for three years now with her, and she's now frustrated, and she's asking for khulr. She can't take it anymore. Subhanallah. Are you nuts? Why would you talk to your wife about something you want to do before doing it? And you know that it is human nature to reject it. Jealousy is human nature. It's totally accepted in a woman. But what comes out as a result of it is what might be haram and what might be halal. So many people say, listen, I'm getting married next year and she's going to be blonde and she's going to be ex Miss Universe and she's going to be this and she's going to be better cook, better good looking, better family, richer. A'udhu Billah. The Prophet told us when slaughtering an animal for udhiyah to sharpen our, our blade and to make it swift and quick so that the animal wouldn't feel the pain. And what you're doing is completely the opposite. With, of course, the big difference between an udhiya and your wife. So these people are nuts. They're not wise. They're not fit to get a second wife because they don't have the diplomacy. They don't have the guts. They don't have the wisdom. And finally, to the sister, I may advise you to weigh things according to its correct proportions. And do not exaggerate. Do not kill a mosquito with a cannon. You kill a mosquito with something that kills it without destroying the whole house. So this sin of your husband is a sin without any doubt. How to react? is what defines your marriage. You can go for khur, you can ask for divorce, you can make a big problem, you can spoil his day and night. But is this a solution? Of course not. This, the, you have to be tactful and you have to be wise in knowing how to deal with such a problem and Allah knows best.